Alors bonjour, bonjour mes petits intello, je m'appelle Dr Sherry Nedrich, je suis dermato à New York et bienvenue sur ma chaîne de YouTube. Euh, chaque samedi, nous couvrons un sujet de votre choix, mais ce samedi, nous allons couvrir un sujet près de mon cœur, c'est les produits de la peau française. Alors, euh, Without further ado, what the hell did I just say? I'm Dr. Shereen Idris. I'm a cosmetic dermatologist based in New York City. And welcome to my YouTube channel. We usually cover a subject of your choice every Saturday. But this Saturday, I thought it would be fun to do a French cult pharmacy skincare favorite uh, in which I cover some of my favorite skincare products. Now, my French, how do I know French? I'm Lebanese originally, so it's a uh, it's both languages are very much spoken in Lebanon. Um, I attended a French school my whole life in D.C., And to this day, my classmates from school still make fun of me that my French is absolutely horrific and butchered and my grammar still sucks and my le and my la and my le and my la 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 la. But uh, I can fake it till I make it. So with that, allons-y, <laughs> allons-y. So what are some of my French cult favorite products? We are going to start from the top and we're going to do this by brand, but we're starting with Embryolis. Les de crème concentrée. And this one you guys are seeing right here is for sensitive skin. This is a cult favorite. It was created in the 50s by a dermatologist, Dr. Tricot, which basically means knit in French, who used to work at, who used to work at l'Hôpital Saint-Louis. And he created this particular moisturizer because it was a free-for-all, do-it-all. It is extremely rich in mineral oil, And no mineral oil is not scary, all right? It is the cosmetic grade byproduct, which is extremely pure and inert. Um, and mineral oil itself is a great emollient that helps to minimize trans epidermal water loss. Additionally, there is a lot of other ingredients in here. Normally, not the sensitive version does have perfume. So there is fragrance. So the French are unapologetic about their love for fragrance. Americans hate fragrance, so you guys can get your sensitive version right here without the fragrance, but still get the benefits of the beeswax, aloe, which is extremely soothing, um, shea butter, and soy proteins, which are really rich in amino acids. This particular moisturizer, and I will show it to you guys, is a much thicker version than, for example, they have another, another line called Philoderm Emulsion, which is much more runny and watery. Um, both of these, this one particularly, is geared towards sensitive skin and very dry skin, but I'm talking about their Les Deux Crèmes Concentrées, which is the cult classic. Now, a lot of makeup artists use these before moisturizing, um, before putting on their makeup, because it is a great primer as well. When I travel, and this is a tip, I hate traveling with liquid solutions in my luggage, and so I actually just take this with me because, that's not my makeup, it's a pen, I will show you guys, it oftentimes doubles as a makeup remover as well. So this is the thick one, the Les Deux Crèmes Concentrées. And this is probably one of the craziest eyeliners I have, but you know what, we're just gonna mix it. Especially in France where the water is extremely hard, my skin tends to dry out a lot. So you wanna be careful utilizing any sort of really, um, really stripping face wash. But this one is actually, not only is it a moisturizer, but I slather it on a lot. I massage it all over my face when I travel and I use it as a makeup remover as well. And it doesn't irritate my eyes. I have an old Kleenex. I'm gonna use it. It's just from my trash, so it's my junk. <laughs> um, but anyway, it takes off all your makeup. So that's just a little small tidbit for all of you guys who are hopefully traveling again and who don't wanna take liquid makeup removers in their bags. Hello, he just walks out and doesn't even interrupt anymore. Now, the other good news is you can buy it at Costco. You can get two of this size, which is 2.54 ounces for 28 bucks. So not bad at all. Now, next, Biafine. I absolutely love this guy. I keep a tube in my kitchen, and you're gonna find out why in a second. I keep a tube in my bathroom, And I keep a tube in the car, especially when I take the kids out, because this baby is amazing for superficial scrapes, first and second degree burns, 
cuts, abrasions. It actually helps to not only initiate, but accelerate the inflammatory um, process of your skin and the healing process of your skin by activating macrophages. And I will show you guys. It also has a light scent, but I love it. I do not mind it at all. I actually also even use it as a face moisturizer. I actually... I love the scent of this. Um, it is a very, very beautiful moisturizer, really, really thick and silky. So it doesn't feel like it's just tacking on. It does feel like it glides all over. I never want to waste this, but the reason I love it. So why is it so special? It has, and I'm going to read this so I don't butcher it, trolamine sodium alginate, which has been proven to help activate the macrophages in the healing process. Now, side note, Algae has been tested for many years as a wound dressing to help with wound healing. So there are some wound healing properties with algae that have definitely been documented. And this particular one has that ingredient in the cream. Additionally, it has stearic acid, which is a fatty acid and a very beautiful emollient. Squalane, which is a very elegant oil. And avocado oil, which is a highly oleic plant oil. Also loaded in vitamin E, which is an antioxidant to help repair any of the reactive oxygen species that develop throughout the day from stress, sunlight, etc. So this keep around the kitchen, especially if you are um, a novice when you are frying <laughs> and definitely keep it in your bathroom. If you are somebody who uses a curling iron or a flat iron, the typical sign is a burn here or a burn here. And this guy will help you and keep it with your kids because those people are on suicide missions, especially if they are under the year age of four years old. Take it from me. Okay, next. Boom. We have, and I started with the big ones because I thought it would be fun. La A313, and it sounds like an airplane. The first time I heard of this, I'm like, what are we talking about? The Airbus 380? The jumbo jet? Which one? And they're like, no, you weirdo. Red and all. And I'm like, what? So I honestly thought they were talking about an airplane. The A313, c'est magnifique. It used to be called Avibon, and they switched it in recent years to A313. It is a combination of various retinol esters, retinol palmitate, retinol acetate, and retinol propionate. Retinol propionate being the most effective one. Now, if you guys have followed me and if you guys have taken your notes, you all know that retinol esters are the weakest link of the retinols. They need actually three steps from retinol esters to retinols to retinols to retinoic acids to actually get activated and make a difference in your skin. So they're not that strong, you would think, but for whatever reason, and I cannot fully explain it, maybe it is the polyethylene glycol base that this baby is in, it gives not only an instant gratification effect, but it really does feel stronger than some of the retinols that are over the counter. And I don't want to say prescription strength retinoic acid because that would be a stretch. But definitely it gives more of an impact than some of the retinols over the counter. Especially when you're talking about retinols that are complexes and not actual percentages, which one today we will get into because that is completely misleading. But I definitely feel like with this guy in a dry, dry climate, because it is an oilier base, and I will show you guys, a little bit goes a very long way. And you don't feel like your skin gets overstripped and dry. It is very tacky. It is not something I would tell you to put on your face right before going to bed because you will make your sheets all oily. Sometimes I get a little itchy when I use it, but I kind of like that feeling perversely. <laughs> it's working. Um, even though there's no truth to that. Uh, it's just a subjective opinion. And I will say that I still put, cannot use it around here because I get irritated when I do. Um, so just approach cautiously. Do not be fooled by the fact that they are a bunch of retinol esters um, because for whatever reason, it works and it's pretty strong. Um, the other thing I will say is that, let's get back to my dirty tissue napkin that was in the trash that now I've taken up for the second time. Um, it does give you a like smoothed out glowy appearance the next day. And I don't think it has anything to do with the actives inside, but more so to do with the base that the actives are in. So whatever, I'll take it. I'll take any improvement, even anything that I get overnight, even though it is transient because it makes you look 
and feel better about yourself because at the end of the day, skincare is all about that. If you automatically start feeling better about yourself, you're going to be more likely to reuse that product. You're going to be more likely than to benefit from the results and the benefits of the product. And so in the long term, you are going to win. So that is the A313. Moving on to the homeopathic remedies of the world, the brand that is the king of this, Boiron, Boiron, as Americans like to say it, which is present in a lot of Dwayne Reed, CVS, Walgreens around the country. There is this particular one that I have found in the US, which is the Arna Gel. And Arna Gel is loaded in Arnica. However, I will say, from my experience using this particular one, I've been slightly disappointed by it because it is not, it's just a clear gel, nothing special. Um, I will say, I don't think it is as strong as a lot of the other Arnica products um, that I have used in my practice. Arnica is a homeopathic remedy that helps with inflammation and bruising. The science around it has yet to be proven in a more robust way, but I will say this, clinically, I inject patients a lot. I do a lot of procedures on my patients and I promise my patients they will bruise. <laughs> I always tell them there is one thing I will guarantee is bruising. But I have noticed in my patients that use Arnica religiously post-procedurally tend to have less swelling and less bruising than the patients who don't. And I have yet to find the ideal Arnica formulation, but it is an ingredient that I have a lot of love for um, because it has helped my patients get through annoying times and it helps in an anti-inflammatory capacity as well. So Baron in the US has Arnica gel, but in France, they have something called homeoplasmine, which is calendula loaded. And calendula is a um, antioxidant soothing ingredient in a Vaseline base. So they marry homeopathic, oh, I can't say that word, homeopathic ingredients like calendula and uh, bryonia, which is another plant, in a Vaseline-like base. So not only does it have soothing-like properties, it is extremely, extremely thick. So you can totally use this particular product for slugging, um, that Korean term that people put Vaseline all over their face to really hold on to moisture and to minimize trans-epidermal water loss. Let's get that Kleenex out of the trash for a fourth time. It's just slowly shriveling up, getting smaller and smaller. Okay, absorbing all the products. Um, but that is Boiron. So homeoplasmine, if you guys are in France, is one I love. I use it on my face. I've actually used it underneath my eyes. I've used it when I felt, especially in the springtime, as my allergies become worse and my skin gets a little bit more inflamed. It is one that I really actually like. Then we have Bioderma. Bioderma, and this is one that I discovered first in France, and I find it much more available, readily available in the US, is their Sensa Bio Micellar Water. Do not confuse this one with the Garnier Micellar Water. They look identical because they both have a pink top, but this one is superior. In my opinion, it works better, and I love it way more than the Garnier one. So Bioderma's Sensei Bio Micellar Water. You still have to wash your face when you use a micellar water because it can leave behind surfactants. So even though you might not, you might not wash your face once because you're exhausted, it's Friday night, you might have had one or two martinis, and you're tired, <laughs> it's okay. Will forgive you but on a regular basis don't use a micellar water without washing your face but this is their micellar water it is my favorite micellar water on the market i've actually tried another micellar water that i use on my kids butts when they were babies by mustella um this other french brand which i'll get to in a second it did not compare um, to removing makeup as this guy did so i even tried the gentlest micellar waters i've tried other brands and i keep coming back to this one they also have a Sika Bio Arnica Plus, but I think the marketing on this is a slightly, a slightly, a lot of bit misleading because there's not that much Arnica in this. As you guys can see, French people like homeopathic remedies. I subscribe to that as well because a lot of medicine comes from plants and those originally have to get proven to start to work. Eventually they become into medications, but Arnica is one of those homeopathic remedies that I truly love and attest uh, too. It does help, however, with scars um, because it has, and I wrote this down, and I don't remember where I wrote it down. They call it antalgesine, but it's a trademarked word. Um, it has arginine, which is an amino acid that is one of the building blocks when it comes to keratin for hair and collagen in your skin. Um, also, it is not yellow. 
The real Arnica is super yellow. It looks like wheat, kind of mucusy green a little bit. Um, so, but this one I like because of the arginine. And so if I do have a fresh cut or anything to help minimize any form of a scar, you can use this as well to keep it sort of flat and smooth. Then we have Aven. Why do we like Aven? So when I first was introduced to this company, I actually met with the PR team that reps them. This was like six years ago. And I remember thinking like, what do you know about Aven? I'm like, I don't know, like it's the kind of corally, you know, whatever. And they're like, no, but do you know the properties of Aven water? And I'm like, don't you guys just put water in a spray can? And they're like, no. Apparently they take people to their thermal springs in France for a whole, like they call them des cures, which are basically cures. Um, where you go in to get full body relaxation, you bathe in the water, and they claim that the water is loaded in minerals to help your body heal better and decrease inflammation. And all of their products are based off of this water that they get from the thermal springs in France. And that is why their whole line is geared towards anti-redness, because it's all based with the water that is anti-inflammatory. So I thought that was pretty fascinating, and I don't think they do a very good job at conveying that message in their marketing. So I don't work for them, but I'm just here to relay what I've learned. I do, however, love their Hydrance Intense. It is a glycerin-based, very lightweight moisturizer. This is a very old one. I tend to keep them around so that I could show you guys, um, but it is... It has a little bit of rose oil in it or rose water in it. So if you don't like the scent of rose, you will not like it. Uh, you probably would prefer the Avino, its sister product, Avino in the US, the Calm and Restore uh, Hydrating Serum. They also, also, also have another one which is geared towards scars. Their Cical Fat Plus Creme Restauratrice Protectrice, which is a protective cream for very delicate skin. And this one is also mineral oil based very thick to minimize any sort of transepidermal water loss if you have a cut, a scrape, a burn, and it helps with wound healing. Not in the same way as this guy does, but it is nice for minor scrapes and cuts, especially around your cuticles, your fingers. If you're very, very dry, I do keep this guy around. And finally, we have La Roche-Posay. Their whole Tolarian line is a made up word because it sounds scientific. When I learned about that, I was like, why was I calling it Tolerian, as if it actually meant something when I didn't know what it meant? Um, I don't know what it means, um, but it is a gear, French brand that is geared towards sensitive skin. I love this particular one, which is their double repair face moisturizer with SPF 30, because I have very sensitive skin, especially around my eyes and sunscreen. So far, when I've used this guy, I have not had many irritations around my eyes. So far, fingers crossed. I also love their Balm B5. I based my face with this and I look like a magnolia cupcake, which is hor horrific for French people. Toute cette crème, oh, comme c'est horrible. But I love it. This is my American side. J'adore magnolia cupcakes. Um, the French people would not approve of them, but whatever. We live in the US of A. Um, and then I do look like a magnolia cupcake when I put this on. So a French dessert that somebody might liken to magnolia cupcake is maybe is like a Mont Blanc where you have a meringue covered in like chestnut cream, which is amazing. So maybe we look like the Mont Blanc and not the cupcakes when we use this guy. All right. And so with that, that is a quick tour of France. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am Dr. Shireen Idris, uh, Dermato Cosmetique at New York. And I hope to catch you guys all next Saturday. Adieu, au revoir, et à tout à l'heure. Bon weekend.